Hey friends, how you doing? Nice to see y'all. Um, just a quick update of what's going on. Uh, we didn't plan on putting the video up until, you know, beginning, you know, Friday or Saturday this week. But we're going to put this one up sooner because a little change in plans took place. And, you know, I know I said that we weren't, you know, that first we got to save up to buy for land and stuff like that. But, um... We got our land. We actually, it, it it fell in our lap. It was totally unexpected, and um, we got five acres, about three hours north of where we live, all wooded. Um, no covenants or ordinance specific rules in regards to our homesteading, and we really didn't have a choice. You know, we we had we had to take it. We we had to get it. So we actually close on March sixteenth. So and I'll tell you, we almost didn't get it, but cash is king. You know, unfortunately, we didn't have to go through the process of a bank and closing and all that stuff. So um, we it, the deal came up and it was just so fast because it went up last night and this morning Debbie had contacted me at work. And said, "Hey, you got to look at this." And I looked, and this was—I mean, I was at work at five o'clock this morning. So I right away looked at. It. I said, "Well, this this just doesn't seem right." And I looked, and sure enough, it was exactly what we thought. We'd been waiting, so we ended up buying the land, and uh, the guy accepted our offer, and uh, we'll get everything taken care of the 16th of March. Pretty heavily wooded. Um, it's zoned. Uh, for a resident, still, it's in the country, uh, obviously in no man's land, uh, where we wanted it. Um, but we do have a clearing in there, which is nice. About a half acre as you come in is, is a clearing, which is which is perfect for solar and stuff like that. And there's no road access, but obviously we, uh, um, we'll, we'll take care of that. That's, that's not a problem. I mean, we're a year ahead of schedule already. So anyway, just an update um, on our homestead, our homestead journey is we actually did um get our land and so uh, we're extremely excited about that now we want this to be an enjoyable experience but you get so excited and you think about access way and you think about the building materials and all this stuff and you want to rush into it right away and it becomes stressful and it becomes stressful it actually is <laughs> it becomes stressful because you're thinking of how you're going to do all this stuff i think it's something that we really are going to really look forward to doing. We are, absolutely. And we're in an area where we're near national forests and we're near lakes and uh, just a beautiful area. Fresh fish for supper. That's right. So <laughs> um, so anyway, that's our news. We uh, actually... What about are, the chickens? Oh, the, the chickens. chickens. The other news is that I sent out the information on the chickens and it looks like we're going to be getting chickens uh, July this year to, for here at home. And tell them why in July. Well, the reason why July is because a buddy of mine raises chickens, egg layers. And he raises like 7,000 of them, a good friend of mine that I work with. And they won't be ready till, you know, to go out until uh, the end of July or the third week of July. We don't want to raise baby chicks no we so just want the egg layer we want so. the egg layer so he's going to give us about three weeks before he can he drops them off or whatever he does with them he's going to give us three of them which will be pretty much full grown almost yeah and then and already got, laying he said hopefully well, well your fingers he said that sometimes <laughs> they start laying a little early so he's got a barn full of eggs well seven thousand chickens i would imagine you got yeah, eggs all yeah. over so anyway uh, that's the other good news is that we're going to have chickens here. And we got our garden plot last night. And we got our garden plot last night. That's it's too right. Too early to plant, but yep. got to get so, your name on the list. So we are set up to go on our garden plot. So we're actually, the last 24 hours has kind of been. And now you see why we're stressed. We're stressed. It's time to start <laughs> drinking. All right. Yeah, no. So anyway, <laughs> um, that's just a quick update on what's going on. Uh, so we're. Now, maybe we can save towards the building, you know, because we got to look at getting the camper up there. we got to look at 
Uh, the, but we're keeping our camper in where we have it for just this year. This year we're going to keep our camper up and we're still going to enjoy it up there. It's a beautiful area. Dang right. And then we got to dismantle the deck and everything and um, get that all ready for next year to get up there. But I don't know where next year if we're going to be ready to even bring the camper up there. See, I'm That's already okay. thinking about it. That's okay. Because we need access to get in there. Maybe we'll put it in a campground up there. Till we get access, or we'll have somebody. Whatever, however but we, we have, do it, we do yeah. it. We just think about that when the time comes, because there's too much other stuff to think. There's about. a lot to think about. So, <laughs> and we're gonna enjoy it, though. We're gonna try to enjoy this journey and not be stressed out about it. Absolutely. You know, we got to be able to financially afford it, and so now we have no money that we bought the land. That's okay. That's why we work. So, uh, <laughs> we still work. So. But we don't have to rely on the bank, that's and that's the key, because I don't like banks. That's what we were trying to do. So. And we accomplished that too, so. Yeah, well, and here's the thing, is that the money I planned on spending on land, because of the cost of land, versus how much this land was, because they want to just get rid of it, you know, um, you, 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 you couldn't, you, if you had it, you, you'd spend it, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Anyway, there you have it. We have our property. Yay. So we have our homesteading property. Uh, we close on the, the 16th. Basically, we just signed the deed and all that whatever stuff we got to do. Yeah. And uh, we're all set to go. So it's actually ours right now. I mean, if we want to go up there and see it, we can go up there and go inside and, and that. But we're going we're gonna to wait. There's two feet of snow right now on the property. So... <laughs> So we're going to wait. Compared to, to none here. So. None, none where we're at, but two feet up there where it's at. So, Okay, folks, that's enough rambling. If you keep watching, we'll keep putting them up. So for me to you, from Deb to you, and from the docs to you, have a great day. Have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.